I grew up in Springfield, Massachusetts, and it was neat. My first job was a little lemonade stand outside of my house. Uh, we then moved on to paper routes, caddying, and uh, picking tobacco. I went to the University of Connecticut. It was fun. It was a time to grow up. It was a time to take some risks. It was a time to try things, and I liked doing it. Well, I started in 1959, and it's probably the smallest business you can imagine. Uh, it was me, uh, and I couldn't afford a chair, so I had a, a box of our inventory that I sat on for the chair. Uh, eventually, the, the business grew. We started with one person and two people, eventually five people, so ten people. Now we have about 700 people, and uh, we had one location today because of the nature of our business. We have 14 locations. I take an interest in all of the areas that we give back in. Uh, it's, I think it's important not only to give money, but to give time, to give your knowledge, to give your experience. And I found that as much as I give to the various organizations that I do, I get more back because the participation in it is a learning experience, a joyous experience, a very satisfying kind of an experience that makes a contribution to the community. But in my experience, there are no shortcuts and that values count. Issues such as respect for other people count. Issues such as integrity counts. And excellence counts. And if you want to have success, I think the most important things are, one, have experiences and get out of your comfort zone. You need to try things. Every experience I had as a youngster came back to help me at a later point in time. You need to have economic literacy. Entrepreneurs, in many ways, is a thought process as well as an action process. But what the mind can conceive and the heart will believe, the person can achieve.